I'm Jill Goldsmith, Chatham Town Manager, and thank you for joining us for the 2021 Annual Town Meeting Preview Show. We will review each article in detail and note recommendations from town boards and committees to help you make informed decisions at the Annual Town Meeting on Saturday, June 12th. We've changed the format of the show to review articles thematically versus the order in which they appear on the warrant. However, you will receive a warrant booklet by mail and also available on the town's website, as that is the official agenda and ordering of the articles. Because we remain under COVID protocols, town meeting will be held again outdoors at Veterans Field beginning at 12 noon on Saturday, June 12th, and our town election at the community center has also been deferred to Thursday, June 17th. Today's segment will focus on responsible government, Articles 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 13, 30 through 32, and Articles 54 through 58. I'll be joined by Chatham Finance Director, Alex Halela. Hi, Alex. Thank you, Jill. Uh, yes, beginning with some of the fiscal articles, which are part of the responsible government portion of this presentation. Um, the first article is Article 3, prior year bills. These are bills which are received after the end of the fiscal year or for which no funds remain to pay the bills if they were received um, prior to June 30th of the last fiscal year. This year we have six invoices that need to be paid and the total of the amount of those invoices $11,524.28 and the funding source is free cash, so no impact on the tax rate. Article three, the prior year bills received a positive vote from the select board to approve 500 and the finance committee also recommended approval by a vote of 700. Moving on to article four, which is FY 2021, the current fiscal year budget adjustments or transfers. This is a placeholder at this time as we're still reviewing the expenditures for the current fiscal year. If any transfers are needed to make any budgets whole um, and require a town meeting vote, we will present that at town meeting. We're not expecting to have any, but again, with the COVID impact still affecting some of the budgets, these may be necessary. Article six is an annual approval for the revolving funds. The town has six revolving funds that need approval of expenditures each fiscal year. These are the airport revolving fund, the Bassett House Revolving Fund, Inspectional Services Revolving Fund, Recycling Revolving Fund, Marconi Revolving Fund, and the WOOF or Waterways User Fee Revolving Fund. The amounts are listed in the warrant and the airport revolving fund is requesting $75,000 for expenditures, Bassett House $8,000 for expenditures, Inspectional Services $80,000 in expenditures, Recycling Revolving $5,000 in expenditures, Marconi Station revolving $10,000 in expenditures, and the Waterways User Fee Revolving Fund $500,000 in expenditures. Just because we authorize the amount that may be expended does not mean that we'll necessarily expend those amounts. The Select Board voted in favor of this article, recommended approval by a vote of 5-0, and the Finance Committee also recommended approval by a vote of 8-0. Moving on to the next article, which is the Wood Waste Reclamation Facility Enterprise Fund. This again is an annual approval that requires town meeting vote to authorize the $25,000 in revenue expected as well as $25,000 maximum expenditures for our one enterprise fund. The select board voted five in favor, zero opposed, and the Finance Committee also eight in favor, zero opposed to support this article. Moving on from the, in our annual appropriations for fiscal articles, we come to probably the largest article um, in the town meeting warrant, the town operating budget. This is the operating budget for FY 2022 and covers all the expenditures for the operations of government, except for the water operating budget, which is voted separately. Article eight, the operating budget is recommended at $33,045,296. And this again includes debt service, employee benefits, insurances, as well as salaries, wages, and all 
town expenditures from the general fund. The FY 2022 budget is a 2.59% increase over the FY 2021 operating budget and will be listed in the details of which will be listed in the warrant under Appendix B and are also available on the town's website under Budget Central. There we'll have the detail of all the operating budgets and also you can review the Finance Committee's review of each detailed budget um, as presented by the department heads under the Finance Committee um, webpage as well. The town operating budget does not include any uh, new staffing except for the addition of two full-time firefighters which were recommended by the Select Board and endorsed by the Finance Committee. The Select Board voted five in favor, zero opposed, and the Finance Committee also recommended the FY 2022 operating budget, eight in favor, zero opposed. Article 13 is the five-year capital improvements plan authorization or the capital budget. Article 13 for FY 2022 is presented at $2,881,200 and is funded through available funds, no impact on the tax levy. The majority of the funding is from free, free cash as well as other available funds. The capital budget includes all items such as vehicles as well as equipment and some other capital projects that are within the financial policies of being over $10,000 and below $250,000. Appendix G will have all the detail for the five-year capital plan, which includes FY 2022 requests that were not funded, what is being recommended under Article 13, as well as the four years out to FY 2026. And again, all this information is available on Budget Central. The capital budget received a positive recommendation from the Select Board of five to zero, as well as a vote of eight to zero in approval from the Finance Committee. Moving on under Responsible Government is Article 30, which is the annual OPEB Trust Fund Appropriation, or at least this has been an annual article for quite a few years. This is requesting a transfer of $150,000 from overlay surplus, which is money left over from abatements and released by the Board of Assessors, which now becomes an available source of funds. So $150,000 would be transferred into the OPEB Trust Fund. As you might recall, the OPEB stands for Other Post-Employment Benefits, and the town created the trust fund back in 2012 to help offset these, uh, this liability. Uh, the town has made great strides over the past few years with the transfer from OPEB, with the transfer to the trust fund from the overlay surplus. However, you will recall that in FY 2021, town meeting approved the one and a half percent reallocation of the expiration, upon the expiration of the land bank surcharge to go to fund OPEB. We're very happy that this has happened as that has raised over um, $500,000 in FY 2021 to fund the trust fund. This article received a approval by the Board of Selectmen on a vote of 5-0-0, as well as the Finance Committee recommending approval by a vote of 8-0. to zero. The next articles we're talking about are the Community Preservation Act articles, the, or CPA. The CPA articles must be recommended by the Community Preservation Committee in order to get onto the warrant. There are two CPA articles that are required every year. Uh, one is Article 31, which is the Community Preservation Act administrative budget. Um, this is being recommended at $15,000 and covers items such as um, minutes, so who, the taking of minutes for the Community Preservation Committee, any legal um, advice that might be needed by the CPC, as well as any appraisals um, should there be a land purchase under the CPA. The $15,000 article under Article 31 received a positive recommendation from the Select Board at 5-0. The Finance Committee voted to approve by a vote of 8-0, as well as the Community Preservation Committee vote of 9 in favor and 0 opposed to recommend to town meeting. Article 32 
is the statutory requirements that the Community Preservation Act must meet to reserve at least 10% of its estimated revenues for each of these categories of affordable housing, historic preservation, and open space. This year, we're estimating over a million dollars in estimated revenues. So we're requesting $140,000 for each of these three categories for a total of $420,000 to be reserved under this article. Much of these reserves will be voted out in the ensuing Community Preservation Act articles, but should they not be receive approval at town meeting, this meet, meets our requirement under the law. The select board voted approval 5-0. The Finance Committee also approved 8-0, as well as the, the Community Preservation Committee by a vote of 9-0 to, to approve. Thanks, Alex. Article 54 is a home rule petition for a prevailing wages exemption. This is a vote to authorize the select board to petition the general court for special legislation seeking the town's exemption to the state prevailing wage law for town projects estimated to cost $50,000 or less. You might recall that this article had been previously approved at the 2015 and 2017 annual town meetings and recommended unanimously by both the select board and finance committee. The bill H 1676 remains in legislative committee and expires with no action in May 2021. This action will allow us to refile the legislation. There have been a number of small capital repairs for which the town receives either no bidders or bid amounts that exceeded project estimates. The purpose of this home rule petition is to exempt certain municipal projects, including routine maintenance work and small public works projects estimated to cost $50,000 or less from the mandated state prevailing wage statute. Such would not change or remove protection for workers, but would actually allow local contractors more flexibility and the opportunity to bid on municipal projects with less administrative burden. This proposed action would still require oversight and accountability. The select board recommendation on Article 54 is to approve by a vote of 5-0-0. The Finance Committee recommendation on this article is to approve 8-0-0. Article 55 is a general bylaw amendment name change select board from the Board of Selectmen. This is an amendment to the town's general bylaws to change any reference to the Board of Selectmen to Select Board. As you might recall, Article 68 of the 2019 Annual Town Meeting proposed a non-binding resolution for the town to petition the General Court for a special act to amend the town's Home Rule Charter and further to amend the town's bylaws by changing the words Board of Selectmen wherever they appear to the word Select Board. The article passed by a majority vote. On January 13, 2021, Chapter 344 of the Acts of 2020 was approved by the governor, implementing the Charter Amendments. Passage of this article would effectuate the corresponding change to the town bylaws. The Select Board recommendations for Article 55 to approve 500 and for the Finance Committee to approve 710. Article 56 is a general bylaw amendment for time of meetings. This is an amendment to the town's general bylaws under the time of meeting section as it relates to town meeting. Specifically, it states, the annual town meeting shall begin on the second Monday of May. This article would insert, unless the select board votes on or before December 31st of the preceding year to establish another date within the month of May. The select board adopted the Chatham 365 task force recommendation for the town to hold town meetings on Saturdays to increase participation in the process and for a more diverse representation of the community. We've been able to hold town meetings on Saturdays under the temporary order by the governor's COVID state of emergency. This article will amend the general bylaws and provide the select board the flexibility to set a date for the annual town meeting other than the second Monday in May moving forward. The select board recommendation on this article is to approve 500 and the finance committee recommendation is to approve 800. Hello, my name is Terry Whalen, Principal Projects and Operations Administrator. 
Article 57, new general bylaw amendment, energy efficiency in town procurement of design services for capital facilities projects by the Energy Committee. Article 57 requires any new construction or addition project done by or for the town to include pricing for a net zero option so that options energy and emission savings can be evaluated for its lifetime cost effectiveness. There is no obligation in this article that the town must select the net zero option. This article may increase the design related cost of future projects, though those costs would be small. More importantly, these studies will ensure that future projects have the lowest lifetime cost to build and operate. The select board approved this article 500 and the finance committee also approved this article 800. Article 58, new general bylaw amendment, energy efficiency in town procurement of motor vehicles by the energy committee. Article 58 requires the town to purchase or lease electric vehicles or a hybrid plug-in whenever possible. There is a provision that would allow the town to purchase a non-electric if there was no electric vehicle that could meet the specific needs of the town, or if the cost of the electric vehicle were materially more than what a conventional car would cost. Because of the provision for purchase of a non-electric if there was no electric vehicle meeting the specific needs of the town available. The passage of this article will not cost the town any additional funds over the lifetime of the vehicle's use. The select board voted in favor 5-0-0. The finance committee also voted in favor on this article 8-0-0. Thank you, Terry. Now, wrapping up all the fiscal articles that impact the tax rate, we always like to show the voters what the impact would be on the FY 2022 tax rate should our articles receive positive votes at town meeting. Um, in regards to the tax rate and the impact, if all the articles at town meeting pass, um, we're looking currently the tax rate for FY 2021, the current fiscal year, is $4.98. We are projecting a 0.97% increase or an increase of four cents for an estimated tax rate in FY 2022 of $5.03 should all the articles that impact the tax rate receive a favorable vote at town meeting. Again, this rate is estimated only. It's based on our FY 2021 valuation. And that would mean a tax levy of $37,611,019 leaving an excess levy capacity, meaning we're not taxing to the amount that we could be, of $2,542. So again, uh, less than a 1% increase on the tax rate is projected for FY 2022, should all the articles receive positive votes at town meeting. Thank you for watching this segment of our 2021 annual town meeting preview show. We look forward to seeing everybody on Saturday, June 12th, starting at noon at Veterans Field. And also, don't forget to vote on Thursday, June 17th. See you soon.